Ian Blackford has stood firm on the Queen's role in the event of Scottish independence, despite SNP members preferring an elected head of state. The First Minister of Scotland, Nicola Sturgeon plans to stage another referendum on Scottish independence by the end of 2023. However, a new poll by Savanta Comrie's has found that the majority of Scottish people believe a second referendum should not take place in the next two years. It also found that 51% of the people in the poll would vote against the independence of Scotland at a future referendum. Though the Scottish National Party petitions for the independence of Scotland, its policy states that the monarchy would retain its position. However, many members have stated their desire for an elected head of state over the monarchy. SNP Westminster leader Ian Blackford has rebuked claims that in the event of Scottish independence, there would be a referendum held on whether Scotland would retain the monarchy. While talking to the PA news agency, Mr Blackford stated, the Queen will remain head of state in an independent Scotland. Alex Salmond always agreed that in the event of Scottish independence the Queen would be Queen of Scots due to the royal connections to Scotland that predates the Union of Parliaments. The SNP policy prior to the 2014 referendum was to keep the Queen as the head of state, but in 2020 Patrick Grady, SNP MSP for Glasgow North did not rule out changing the head of state as he did a talk at King's College London. He said, it would be for the people of Scotland to decide this eventually. Though the Queen would most likely remain head of state in the event of Scottish independence, the roles of the monarch may change under a new constitution that could be laid out. Professor Robert Hazel, director of UCL's Constitution Unit, said that the monarch's duties would depend on the role provided for head of state in Scotland's new written constitution. Prior to the first referendum in Scotland, Her Majesty said that she would be proud to be a monarch of an independent Scotland. The Queen has strong ties to the nation after her sons were schooled there, as was her late husband Prince Philip and she is fond of staying at Balmoral in Aberdeenshire where some of her favourite times have been spent with her family. The monarch also spends time at Holyrood Palace in Edinburgh which is the official residence of the British monarch in Scotland. When the Queen opened Scottish Parliament in 2021, she noted the deep and abiding affection that herself and Prince Philip shared for the nation. She said, I have spoken before of my deep and abiding affection for this wonderful country and of the many happy memories Prince Philip and I always held of our time here, 